Hello Lobos and Canvas learners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a content page using items that you already have created in your Google Drive, such as Google Docs and Google Slide presentations. So to start out, I do want to point out that there are two different ways that you can create content pages within Canvas. The first way is by going to the Pages option that's located in your sidebar menu, and then clicking the plus page button. So that's option one. The other option is to actually work through your module. This is actually my preferred method just because I like to keep all of the content and assignments for my modules together. But if you like to make several pages at a time, you would want to use the page button over here. But that's up to you. You decide what works best for you. So I'm going to work from the module and I'm going to hit the plus button here and that's going to give me a drop down and I'm going to select page from the drop down then new page and then I'm going to give the page a title and then I'm going to say add item now I'm ready to edit this document and I do want to show you just real quickly this page already exists over here in pages even though there's nothing on it to edit the page either way whether I'm working at the page level or at the module level I click directly on the title of the page. And that's going to open the page up, and then I click Edit. All right, so here we are in my actual content page, and now we are ready to look at adding content. So I'm going to make my screen just a little bit bigger so that we can see the full editing toolbar here. All right, so. In normally in this page I would add text or images or a file but because I want to use items that I've already created in my Google Drive I'm not going to type anything here instead I'm going to go up here to this little icon that looks like a plug I'm gonna circle that so this guy right here that is going to be where I can find my Google Drive I have a few other options, Commons, Khan Academy, Quizlet, TED, and YouTube. But for right now, I'm just going to click on Google Apps, and that is actually going to open up my Google Drive. If I know the name of the specific presentation or doc that I'm looking for, I can search for it. If not, I can actually go into my folders to find what I need. So I'm going to go into this Canvas folder, and then I'm going to go down here and select the presentation that I want. Now, you know that it's selected because it's blue and it has a check mark here. If I scroll down just a little bit further, leaving that selected, I have two options, embed or link. Link is going to be just a link out to this drive item, so I'm actually going to choose embed because this is actually going to put a a viewable version of my presentation directly into my Canvas page, meaning that my students can now view my Google Slide presentation right here directly within Canvas. I do not need to remake this content. I do not need to share it out with them through email. They now have access to view that content. I'm going to go ahead and say save and publish because it is this page is now ready for students to view. Students cannot edit, but they can click through. And what's great about this is that if I find a mistake, or let's face it, a student points out a mistake around third period, I can easily change that at the drive level and then tell my students to refresh the page and the change will be reflected within Canvas as well. So that is how you add an item to a content page using Google Drive. Let's do one more. I'm going to go back to my module. I'm going to hit the plus gray button. I'm going to select page, new page, and I'm going to give it a title. And add item. Then I click on the title to edit. Click edit. And again, here we are back with that same text editor. This time you can see that it's not visible, but that triple dot hides the rest of my menu. So again, I go to this little plug looking option right here, and then I click on Google Apps. 
If you get an error like this, just say authorize. And it authorized it. I'm not sure. Occasionally, there's little quirks like that, as with everything. All right, so I'm in the folder now where I want to find my content. I'm going to select it and say embed. And then I'm going to say save and publish. And let's look at this page. Okay, so now my students can see the actual Google Doc here as well. And their view will vary depending on whatever my default share settings are. So most likely for a student, this would be view only. If you have any questions about how to add content pages using items from your Google Drive, please reach out to any member of Digital Learning Services. We would be more than happy to help you with this. We want you to fully be able to utilize the items you already have created. Reuse those Google Slide presentations. Reuse those already created Google Docs to pass on information to your students.